Thank you, Hunter. A home economics class at a Macon private school works on a very special project that keeps the memory of past loved ones alive. Our education reporter, Pepper Baker, shows us how after visiting our school of the week. Now, I'm pretty ashamed to admit this, but I do not know how to sew. But let me tell you, Windsor Academy's seventh grade students not only know how to sew, but they're putting their skills to good use, making them our school of the week. Today we're going to work on our keepsake pillows. Home economics teacher Beth Guest teaches basic life skills to her middle school students. Today's lesson is sewing and they're doing it in a special way. A keepsake pillow is a pillow that whoever's passed or you love really much is a pillow that you can make that you can hug all the time and love all the time. The pillows are made from clothes of loved ones who've passed away. Alexis Hart made one out of her late grandfather's shirt. Well, he actually gave it to me when I was like 10 and I've been having it in my closet ever since then. Children need something physical um, and so that child can hold that pillow and talk to it and say they're missing their grandmother and they're just having a moment they can grab that and it feels like they're getting to hug her one last time. Now that I have it in a pillow as for him it's going gonna, it's gonna to bring joy to my life more. Guests made a Facebook post inviting others to bring loved ones clothes. The class delivered their first finished pillow made out of a shirt by Terry Miller's stepmother. When they are seeing their hard work turn into something that makes somebody feel better, you're developing human beings with deep, compassionate hearts. My favorite part is just giving it and watching the excitement on their face. I love it and I was actually fine until I read the note and then I got real teary eyed because um, I know that it was made for love. In Macon, Pepper Baker, 13 WMAZ News. Oh, that is so sweet. So sweet. Oh my gosh. I guess teaches Windsor's fifth through eighth grade students. They also learn cooking skills and money management in the class. But what she 